Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we are continuing our study of embedded systems design, specifically looking at data manipulation instructions. And in this video, we're going to go over an instruction, an arithmetic instruction that's called add with carry. Okay, so let's take a look at what this is used for. So the add instruction that we've looked at only can do 16-bit addition. So that means it can take a 16-bit input, two 16-bit inputs, add them together, create a 16-bit sum, and potentially a carry bit, okay? But if you, only, if you wanted to add numbers that were larger than 16 bits, you would have to do it in kind of a word-by-word -word fashion. So, for example, consider, consider a 32-bit add down here. So I have E371FFFF, and I want to add it to 11112222. <clears throat> I do not have a 16 or a 32 bit adder in the ALU of the MSP430, but that's not a big deal because what I can do is I can take the lower 16 bits, which is FFFF plus 2222, and I can create a 16 bit sum. And in this case, you'd have F plus 2, 1. I'm, I'm showing the bit, actually the nibble to nibble carries right here. Notice that when you, when you carry out of a uh, sum, it's only ever going to be one. So you're not going to carry a two out or carry a F out. In addition, you only ever carry out a, a single bit. And that allows you to use the status flag, the carry out, <clears throat> to actually represent whether the lower word addition generated a carry. So that kind of makes it nice. We can use that single flag. But consider this. You, know, you have f plus 2 is 1. There is a carry into this nibble. Then f plus 2 is you have 2 with a carry to that nibble. f plus 2 is plus 1 is 2 with a carry to here. 1 plus f plus 2 is 2. And then you have a carry out right here. And so we can use the add instruction to add these two 16-bit words together. But then when I come up here, I'm going to add the higher order word, the higher part of the word to the higher part of the word of both inputs. But if I can account for the carry in, then I can use this as a summation that continue, continues the addition from the lower 16 bit to the higher 16 bit. <clears throat> and that is exactly what add with carry does. So the, the instruction is called ADDC, and it just stands for add with carry. And all it does is it just takes the source plus a destination plus whatever the carry flag is. It's either going to be a zero or a one. And then it's going to put that in the destination. Now, what's important about this is that if you're going to add in the carry, you have to make sure that the instructions uh, that occurred before that altered the carry flag as you expected. OK, so we got to keep that in mind. All right. Now, this is going to alter uh, all the bits, all four status flags. And so let's take a look at let's do an example. OK, let's do an example where actually here's what I want to do. I want to do this example. I want to take a 32-bit word that has the value E371FFFF, and I want to add it to a 32-bit word that is 11112222. I only have 16-bit widths in the memory system of the MSP430, so the way that I have to store that in memory is I'm going to put the low byte first okay, in the... In, address 2000, okay, let's, let's put this in data memory. And then I'm gonna put the high, it's not not byte, it's high 16 bits in the, uh, in the address right after it, 2002. So let's look at how this looks. My number is E371FFFF, and the way that I put it in here is I put the lower 16 bits first, and then I put the higher 16 bits second. And that's just the way that it's done in this memory system. That's how it works when you have a 16-bit word, you have the low byte above the high byte if your addresses are sequential uh, going from low to high over here. And so we're gonna follow that same order. So then if I then say I wanna take this number, 1111 plus 2222, I put 2222 first, and that's the lower 16 bits, and then I'm gonna put 1111, and that's the upper 16 bits. When I produce the sum, I want to take the sum and I want to store it in the same fashion. So I want to have the lower 16 bits at this address above the higher 16 bits. So I got to keep track of that. So here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> we are going to put these two uh, 
We're going to put these two into memory and then or we'll put this 32 bit word into memory. Then we'll put this 32 bit into memory and then we'll do the add and then we'll put the sum in these locations in memory. OK, so let's see how we're going to do this. Let me leave this on the screen so you can see that. And let's fire up Code Composer. OK, back in Code Composer Studio, I'm going to do a file new CCS project. Make sure your MSP430 launchpad is plugged in. And let's call this ASM ALU uh, ADDC. And I'm going to get an empty assembly only project right there. And here's my new uh, blank, <laughs> blank main.asm. Let's go ahead and set up our jump, jump main, so our main loop. So I put a main address label. I'm going to do a jump main. And then what we got to do is let's set up some memory. Okay, so I'm going to have this right here. And I'm going to do that with directives. So I'm going to copy and paste this comment block header. And I'm going to say this is going to be called memory allocation. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say dot data. And that means go to data memory at 2000 hex dot retain, which means leave this alone. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to create a address label called var one. And now we're going to put a 32-bit constant into memory. And I'm going to do that with a directive that is called dot long. Dot long is a 32-bit word. And I can actually put E371 FFFFH if I remember that I got to put a zero in front of it because E can't start. Now I'm going to do var 2. And I'm going to do a dot long. And I'm going to put... 11112222H, and that's now going to dump that into memory. Okay. The last thing is let's go ahead and reserve some space for the sum, the 32 bit sum. And I'm going to say dot space, and I need 32 bits, which is uh, how many bytes? That's four bytes. Okay. So that's all my memory allocation. And now what I'm going to do is let's come up into the main program. And here's what we're going to do. I am going to do move.w and I'm going to bring in <clears throat> we're going to use in we're going to use uh, index register index address mode to access this memory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the address of var1 using immediate addressing into r4. r4 is now going to contain this address which I happen to know is 2000. Then I'm going to do move.w pound var2 and I'm going to put that in r5. R5 now points to the address that is pointed to or that this label is, which is going to be 2004. And then let's get our move.w and let's go pound someone to, and that one's going to be R6. So now I have three address pointers set up and I can use them to access my block of memory down here. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to do this move. Let's go get some of the, we want to do the, the lower 16-bit ads first. So here, watch what I do here. I'm going to move index zero or offset zero of R4. That is going to be, it's going to go out to whatever R4 is pointing to, which is 2000. No index, so no offset. And so that's going to go get FFFF, which is the lower 16 bits of this example. So it's the lower 16 bits of this example. And I'm going to put that in a register, R7. Now I'll go move.w. And I want to go get uh, what R5 is pointing to, which is going to be the, and I'll have indexed addressing. And I'll put that in R8. <clears throat> okay, so that has gone down and gotten 2222. So at this moment, I've gotten FFFF and 2222, and they are sitting in R7 and R8. And now watch what I do. Add W, R7, R8. I just completed the add lower 16 bits. Okay. Now, remember, look at what I did. I and, or excuse me, add. I just added that. There was no add C yet because I didn't want to account for that. Because when I think about this, there you're not accounting for a carry in when you do this lower 16 bit add. You only do it in the upper 16 bit. So that's why I was able to use just add. Now, this will generate a carry or it might. 
it will generate a carry in this example. And that's when I then have to consider the carry in the higher order summation. So now let's do that. Now watch what I can do here. I've got the sum, okay? I need to put it into memory and I wanna put it the lower, the lower 16 bits of the sum, I wanna put it in 2008. Luckily, that is where our six is pointing to. So I can come here and I can say, grab that sum that I just got that's sitting in R8 and go ahead and pop that into R6 with no offset. Okay, so now I've put, excuse me, not R6, R, R6, yeah, R6. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> okay, now we're ready. Now check this out, I'm gonna do move, dot w and now i'm going to go get the higher order 16 bits of the of bar one so let's think about what i'm doing now i want to go get the e371 but i have an address pointer that's pointing to 2000 so to get it i can simply do an offset of two on the what the address that's held in r4 and that allows me to go grab that and then i can put that in what do you want to put it in? Let's just put it in R7, so we'll blow that away. And then let's go grab the higher 16 bits of the next input, which is going to be 2R5. Now think about that. 2R5. R5 right here is, is holding the address of R2, and I'm going to put an offset of 2 okay, and to get to 2006. So that's going to go grab the higher 16 bits of the second number. And let's put that in R8 since we don't need R8 anymore. And now I do our instruction. Add with carry those two numbers. So I want to do R7 and R8. And now R8 is holding. Okay, so this is this is add upper 16 bits with carry. And now I have it. And now I just got to put it in the right spot. So where do I put it? I'm going to put what is in R8 into... 0 R6. So there's a whole lot going on here. We are using immediate addressing to grab the address label value, put it in a register, and then we're also using indexed register, which uses R4, R5, and R6 as address pointers. We're using an add right here, and then we're using an add with carry right here, and a whole lot of stuff is going on. So now let's see if this works. So go ahead and plug in your MSP430, fire up a debug session, and we are going to need to, we want to view our memory. So I had closed my memory browser, so let's go up here and go view, and I want to go memory browser, and that'll pop that buddy up right there. And now let's go to 0x2000 and see what's in memory when I download it. Look at this. FF. E371 2222 that was downloaded into memory from these three directives. Actually, dot data helped too, but this is how it came in. Now, look at how nice that is. Look at how it put FFFF in the first address, which was 2000. Then it put E371 in address 2002. Then it put 2222 into 2004. And then it put 1111 into 2006. So now our sum needs to go into these addresses right here. So now here we go. We got our core registers opened. I want us to be able to see the carry flag. So I'm going to come down here and I'll leave the carry flag on right there. And I'm using our four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so I can move these down a little bit. I've got this. Let's, since we're doing everything in hex, let's switch our registers all back to hex. Okay, here we go. I come and do my source code right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint at the first instruction, and I'll run to it. And now let's watch R4, R5, and R6 as I step through here. R4, R5, R6. Look at what happened here. I brought in the address labels for var1, var2, and sum12. So that was exactly what you see right here. Okay, so that was setting up my address pointers. That feels good. And now let's watch some sums here. Let's leave this alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at the next 
the next set of instructions. So I'm going to move something into R7, move something into R8. So I go step, step. Look at what happened. FFFF went into R7. 2222 went into R8. So I have now the lower 16 bits of the first number, of these two numbers. And so I've gotten FFFF, 2222 in my registers 7 and 8. And I'm going to go ahead and add them together. And I will put the sum in R8. So I go step. And it became 2221. And let's move that into memory. And look at where it went. 2221. So is that what we expected to get? Let's go back to our example here. It is 2221. So it did work. And it's in the first address location. So it's actually in 2008. Nice. All right. So now let's go to the next ones. And we are going to go ahead and move now the upper 16 bits of both inputs into R7 and R8. So let's go ahead and go step, step. And we did that. Look at what happened. I got seven. R7 is 371, E371. R8 is 1111. So if we go back to our original number, E371 and 1111. So it's they're in there. And now I'm going to add with a carry. Check this out. The first summation we did generated a carry. So now it is going to take that into account. And you can really see when you add these together, E371 and then 1111. One plus one is going to be zero with a carry. But if you go one plus one plus one, it's going to be one with a carry. So you see that right here where it's, well, I'm sorry, three. It's going to be three. We're in, we're in hex. Okay. So one plus one would have been two hex. One plus one plus the carry is going to be three hex. So that's where you can really see. So let's go ahead and step it. And boom, look at it. F483, is that what we wanted? Or is that what we were expecting? F483, beautiful. And now the final piece of it is I need to store it to this address right here, 2000 and A. And I do that using indexed addressing, using the address pointer in R6, which is pointing to someone to, someone to. And I go ahead and go step, boom, and I got it, okay? So I went ahead, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I forgot, I put. I did the wrong... Offset. <laughs> no problem. That was awesome. So and that's what it looks like when you screw up. So now let's go ahead and stop it. And let's go there. So I had the wrong offset right there. Not a big deal. Check this out. I go ahead and I go back. I got everything back where it is. Here's my original memory setup. And I'm just going to go run to the breakpoint. And everything's right until the last instruction that I screwed up. Notice that I didn't see that. I couldn't see that until I looked at the debugger. Now I'm back in the same spot. I got the offset correct, offset of two, and I go boom, and there it is. So now I have F483-2221 in this order, and as interpreted as a 32-bit word, that is F483-2221. <laughs> awesome. All right, that was, that was fun. All right, that was fun. That is add with a carry, and that is it. Nice work. Uh, as always, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest videos. See ya.